The Shir is dedicated to Zechah Nishmas Rachaleya Basav Chaim Tzvi. I would like to discuss in this Shir, at the very outset, the prerequisites for Nevoa. The Gemara says in the Dorim, and that Lama Chesam and Aleph. HaKadosh Bohu Mashresh Chinoso, the Almighty causes his presence to rest only upon certain individuals. Ein HaKadosh Bohu Mashresh Chinoso, Elal, Chacham, Gibor, Oshir, Vyanov. Person has to be intelligent, person has to be strong, person has to be wealthy, person has to be humble. The Gemara in Masech Shabbos, the Gemara there, and Dav Tzadik Bezim and Aleph, the same characteristics are mentioned as qualifications for a Navi, except that the stature, Balkaima, is mentioned instead of the quality of a Nova, which is the quality mentioned at the end of the Gemara in the Darwin, there it mentions has to be a Balkaima. In other words, in order for a person to be worthy of receiving Divri Navua, he has to have all these qualities. The Akedah Sitzchok, the Balo Akedah, Rabbi Yitzhak Aroma, in Shar, Lamed Hay, explains why these qualities are necessary. And he points out because they demonstrate that the individual is righteous, the individual is totally committed to serving Hashem is Baruch with all of his faculties. Says the Bala Akeda, Ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu Mashre Shechinosai El HaLa'odam Ha'ibin Hashem Bechol Kol Chesav That the Almighty does not rest his Shechina except on a person who worships Hashem with all of his faculties Besichloi with his intellect Begufa with his body Umamona with his money He further suggests that the gift of the Vua is only given to someone who is ready to translate the theory into practice. Namely, he's ready to use his chachma, his wisdom. He's ready to use his guf, his physical body. And he's ready to use his wealth, his ashiros, to serve Hashem, his barach, and his fellow man. The Talmud of the Ra, Nalatera, in Parshas Vayakel, questions this statement. Don't these qualities seemingly contradict the Divri Navua of the Navi Yimiyawa Navi? Yimiyawa Navi in Paraktes makes the following statement in a series of very significant Sukim. The other Navi tells us in Paraktes, Pasuk Chabbez. Ko Yomar Hashem, Al Yisavel Chacham Bichach Masai. A Chacham should not glorify himself with his wisdom. A strong man should not glorify himself with his strength. Nor should a wealthy person glorify himself with his wealth. The only quality that one should glorify himself with is contemplating Hashem is Barach and knowing Hashem is Barach. So the Talmud Aran questioned the statement of the Gemara that I mentioned earlier. Seemingly the words of Yimio contradict, pose a contradiction to the Gemara in the Dorim and Shabbos that we mentioned a moment ago. However, it could very well be in light of what the Baal Akeda suggests, we can understand that the Lord only refers to one who uses these brachas for his personal gain. When Yemiyahu says, Al Yisala Chacham B'Chach Masai, he's using the Chachma for himself. Al Yisala Lagiba B'Gvur Asai, the Gvur is used for himself. Al Yisala Asher B'Ashro, the Asherus is used for himself. However, if these qualities are used for the purpose of Haskel of the Yodai, I see, they're directed towards Avedas Hashem, then unquestionably these qualities are certainly praiseworthy and certainly qualities that are worthy of emulating. There is a machlokes between the Ramam and the Drosh Haran. When the Gemara mentions these character traits in both Masechus the Dorim and Masechus Shabbos that Anavi has to possess, is this to be taken in a literal kind of way? The Shita Saramam is that it's not to be taken literally, but rather 
the Rambam writes in Luchos Yisraeli Atayla, Perak Zayin Alacha Aleph, that a Navi has to have the spiritual qualities which correspond to these physical attributes of wealth and strength. Says the Rambam, Mi Yisraeli Hadas Leida. One of the fundamental principles is to know Shachel Min Nabi Es Bnei Adam. The Ein and the Vua Chala. The Vua is not Chal El Al Chacham Gadol Be Chachma. And a great Chacham, Gibor b'midaysav, someone who's a Gibor in his character. V'lo yehi Yitzchak miskaber ala bedava ba'ilam, with Yitzchak never got the better of him. Elo hu miskaber bedaytor al Yitzchak tamid, he's someone who succeeds in overcoming his evil inclination. V'ubaldeya rechava nechayna meid, someone with a 